Hey everyone, this lesson is on onychomycosis. Onychomycosis is an infection of the nail by fungi, and these fungi are known as dermatophytes. Now, onychomycosis is also known as tinea unguum, and the most common species of fungi that cause this infection is known as trichophyton rubrum. Trichophyton rubrum is again the most common cause, and it occurs in about 90% of infections. Other species of fungi that can cause onychomycosis include microsporum and epidermophytum. And how the fungi cause this nail infection is that the fungi themselves digest the keratin of the nail, leading to brittle and damaged nails. So an onychomycotic nail presents as a brittle, crumbling, and yellow discolored nail. So again, crumbling of the nail and a brittle nail are key to the diagnosis and it again is often yellowish and opaque. If you were to look underneath the nail, you would be able to see hyperkeratotic debris. So the diagnosis is quite simple. We take skin or nail clippings of the nail or surrounding site, and we do a KOH prep. We could also do a PAS stain of the nail clippings as well. These can both give us the diagnosis of onychomycosis, but oftentimes just simply the presentation of the nail itself will lead us to a clinical diagnosis of onychomycosis. So once we made the diagnosis of onychomycosis, how do we treat it? Treatment can involve oral antifungals. Generally, with a fungal infection, we often use topical antifungals, but in certain cases, like onychomycosis and tinea capitis, or a fungal infection on the scalp, we can use oral antifungals. These include terbinafine or uh, lamisil. Terbinafine is a CYP2D6 inhibitor. We can Use this for about 12 weeks for toenails and six weeks for fingernails. We could also use itraconazole or Sporinox. This one is a CYP3A4 inhibitor. However, both of these induce liver toxicity. So if we're going to use oral antifungals, we want to make sure that we have the correct diagnosis for onychomycosis. So because they both induce liver toxicity, there has been a shift away from using oral antifungals. Now, there are topical antifungal agents we can use for nails as well. I mentioned before that we generally can progress to oral antifungals, but what I want you to take from this is that we want to at least start with topical antifungals simply because of the liver toxicity that is induced by oral antifungals. So topical antifungals can include cyclopyrox or Penlac. And the other one that I want you to remember is ifiniconazole or Jublia. So this one takes a long time. So if we're gonna use Jublia, they have to apply it for 48 weeks. Now that's a long time. That's almost a year of applying a topical antifungal to an onychomycotic nail. But because the side effects of oral antifungals can be liver toxicity, there has been a move away from oral antifungals to using topical antifungals, even though they may take a long time. So anyways, guys, I hope you found this lesson helpful. That was a lesson on onychomycosis. If you did find this lesson helpful, please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also check out my other infectious disease lectures that you'll find in my infectious disease playlist. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see, hope to see you next time.